Hello guys, um, this is Jonathan Sternman and today I'll be doing more of a LibreOffice based tutorial today. Okay, so this is going to be a part 3. So now go to LibreOffice um, base and we can open up the document that we were working on. So we just have to wait till it loads. Alright, here it is, it's loading. Okay, now open an existing database file such as employees. Now click on to finish and that should open up. Okay, let me make this bigger screen. Okay, so last time what we have done on the first episode we have done this table. So if you click up here, it will see all these information such as your ID, your first name, date of birth, email address and credit card information. And after that we have made a form for both of customers and employees. So now if I open up customers, then we should you see a form that for users can fill in um, their information such as their name and their email address. So we have added a form. But now today what we're gonna do is qualities. To create the qualities, we'll need to um, go to use wizard to create qualities. So just click onto that. But we can make a custom one, we can make one in SQL, but we're gonna use a wizard to just open up that. And now we should see it loaded up. Okay, so this is where we can choose what field selection now I want it. So let's use customers. Let's post these, do that, and now short by um, first name, um, customer's ID, and then, and then by um, we can do the home address. Then by we could do the phone number, and then by the second name. So now if we go to next. Um, if we just press it to finish, then we should see the quantities or the information such as here. Okay, so this is the ID, this is the sec first name, this is the second name. So as you guys can see, this is in quantity. Now if we want to edit it, just go over here and now edit. And now if we we'll, um if we want to link this with something else, then what we'll need to do, if we, um, oh I see, so if we don't want to show ID, then just undo, undo that, and then undo that, and then undo that, and then undo all of them. And now if we just do home address, then what we guys should see is that um, we should see only home address. See? So this is how we can, um, arrange it so that way um, we can just hide some information so if we click onto them all then all the information will reappear so just press on control s and this is how much for order that we have put it in and this is uh, the database so now if we press on to x again then we will receive that now there is more than one but these are the ones that we have selected and this is the order that we have put it in okay so let me do this one more time if you don't get it understand it so we can go over here now i can go to employees and over here we can choose what we want which fields we want in the query such as them all and now come to the next button and now we can short it by an order so we can use the employees id and then we can do their first name and then their second name and then their date of birth and now click on to next and a match or follow for following um yeah we don't need to worry about that one and then filled so here we can just choose um what information that will be uh, and then just click on to finish now you guys will see this information um so if i go back over here now if i go to edit and if i want to hide some information just undo them such as like that and now what we guys should see is um, only their second name and their home address so yeah guys this is how that we could use queries to hide some sensitive information it is quite useful um, if we want to share some data to the public such as their how much they have they have donated to the company for example um, but we can also hide their information such as their home address which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna do this um, one more time so that way you guys will understand what to do. So just click on to employees. 
just click over here and I'll click on to next and, don't, and then don't worry about these ones and now I'll just press on to finish oh yeah still haven't okay so now we'll go back use use that one and now we can go on to the customers and now we can click on to that and now we have to do this part so select your shorting order so this is what we can use to put things into order so it's a custom ID then we want their first name then their second name and then we could also have their uh, phone number and now we can go to our next 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 and now finish and now what we guys should see is the ID their first name second name date of birth info number all these information but now if we go to edit then we'll see ID their first name and then all of that but if we don't want to show some of the for some of the information such as don't want anyone to see their credit card number or we don't want them to see your home address which you don't but you didn't select so don't worry about home address because I haven't selected that one but now what we guys should not see is their credit card information so now we'll just we open up that and now we won't be able to see our credit card information so yeah this is how that we could use queries to hide some of our sensitive information but on the tables if you want to see the whole information you can just click there and then we'll be able to see our credit card number so yeah guys, um, we learned how to um, make queries so that way people will be able to see some information but not all of it for some sensitive information and we also have some forms that people could fill in. So yeah guys, um, what I will do because this is quite a short video is that I'm going to show you guys how to do file reports. Basically, that will tell you for information that people has done in for information that people has put in with a word document. So, if we want to click on to use wizard to create a report, we can do it manually. So, just click up here, and then now you guys should see now you guys can pick one of these that we want, such as employees. And then if we put all of that into here, then if we click on to next, and then next, and then next, and then we'll have to. Which field you want to show for there? Alright, so we can do the ID. We can do the first name, we can do the second name, and then if we just do that. Oh finish. Alright now I should do it. Um, yeah, so this is uh, gonna show all of that information in this Word document. Um, if we don't like the way it looks, then what we could do is go back here and now edit it, and now we can customize how we want it to look. So this is going to open up LibreOffice Writer. If we don't have that installed, then we may have to install LibreOffice um, Writer, which is also known as LibreOffice um, Writer. It is known as LibreOffice Writer. So now over here, we could change the font of the text. So it's just clicking up here and we can change it to look like Ubuntu font and then we can do the same up here if we wanted to. Um, so yeah, we can change the font that we want it to be and also we're going to add a, um, a a heading such as this was custom employees. Okay, so for employees we can just put down employees database and now um, we can see people's information. So just underline that and we can make that one a lot more bigger. Um, we can make it into 66 or 60 and then we can underline it and then we could put it in for center. And then we'll be able to see a table of people's information. So just to say the ID and then the first name. Oh no. Oh no, this is just an exam. This is just. Okay, so now we should be able to see that. And if we press on Ctrl S and now we open it. Then what we guys should see is their information here. So we do have the for title. We also change the font to Ubuntu, and now it looks way more better. We can also customize it so that way it shows a border, or we can customize that the text should be bold, or whatever. We can do whatever in this Word document. Basically, this just shows all of that information in a Word document. So yeah, guys. Um, what we're going to do now, just to show one more time how to create a report, is that we are going to do this again, but for this time we're going to use customers. 
because last time we reached employees, right? So now we just use it. Yeah, we used for employees last time, so now we're going to use customers. So we have customers um, information in a minute, and so we can click onto that, and now we should have all of that information. So there's the ID number. So if we just click onto there, now next, just keep on pressing on next, and now I'll click on to finish. And now, guys, you see it, we open. So okay, so this is all of our customers information in this Word document. Okay, now if we want to edit it, then just go into customers, and now go to edit. And then now we should be able to edit for a Word document. And now we can change our font. We can make it all bold. Um, now I'm going to change this font to be Free Mama because I'd never heard of this font before. <laughs> it does look quite good though. Okay, so if I want to change it to Customers Database, then I can do that. And now we can make our text a lot more bigger, such as. If we want it to be 72, then we can make it 72. Remember, put it in for center, and now people will be able to see that information. Now, click on Control S to save this, and now click on this X button to close. And now, if you want to see it, then open up Customers. Now, I see all of that information. So, it's H Top Steve, and then their date of birth, and then their phone number, and then their email address, and our credit card information, and then we have their home address. We also have a title and we also change the font to Ubuntu and we can do so much more in this word, word document. So yeah, this is going to be for end of the tutorial tools. Um, if you guys want to see an older one just such as how to create a table then just see my part 1. If you want to learn how to make a form then go to my part 2 and for my part 3 which is this part, for last part, we can figure these two. Okay, so yeah. I guess my tutorial for LibreOffice Base has ended now because I cannot show you everything in it. Um, if you want some help, um, if you want additional tutorials or something, if you want to learn more, 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 um, more advanced, then you can go into LibreOffice Help, and then there should be a website or a web page that I have on my computer that would tell you uh, more about the features and more advanced stuff. If you want to learn more in depth, but um, a tutorial tool would be great for beginners. But if you want to learn more in depth, then we can go here and then we'll be able to learn how to um, do stuff. So it looks like it's a web page that's downloaded on my computer. So, yeah, if you want to view a database, then click over here, create a new database. So these are what we went through creating a database. Um, but if you want to learn, like, for example, if you want to learn about more about queries, then click over here and you can learn more about them. They have a very good um, documentation here, and it looks quite good. But because this is a file, that means that we'll be able to um, edit it. Like by going to page um, inf, uh, just to go into inspect element, and now we can see a source code. And if we're looking to look for it, then we can. But we're not here to talk about the HTML stuff, we're here to create a database. So, yeah, guys, this is um, how we do it. Um, and then we can click on to which web page you want to go to. That's actually pretty cool. But they have a whole documentation about how to actually create a database. So, if you want to learn more in depth, then go here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end this video here. Hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. Bye.